What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Let's get to it here. We've got ourselves a problem here where we're dealing with, well, the root of 64k cubed. So the square root of 60, what are we doing here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and lead the way here. I got your back, I got your back, I got your back. So what we really need to understand about this is that we're gonna be dealing with the law of exponents. Primarily here, we're dealing about, well, the roots of exponents. So let's go ahead and understand this a little more and understand really what's going on. Now, before I do, remember, I do have a free class once a week. And if you look at the bottom left over there, you're gonna see the link to my free classes. It also comes with a free practice test, video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. And then every topic is labeled. That way you can make a list of the topics that you need to work on, then hit it hard with whatever study materials you're using. And in case you didn't already know, I also have a full program that's designed to help you organize everything by topic, study everything the right way, and get rid of that test anxiety and that feeling of hoping and wishing that certain questions are gonna be on the test when you can actually prepare the right way and be ready for any type of question. So if you wanna learn more about that, you can go ahead and text me. My number is 567-698-8867, and you're gonna get a ton of materials and resources to help you succeed. So don't wait, don't waste time, don't procrastinate. I've got your back and I'm here to mentor you. So all you have to do is shoot me a text or go to the link in the description of this video to learn more about my full program. So with that said, let's go ahead and cross this here. So we have the square root of 64K cubed. Hmm, what are we doing here? Well, here's how this works. The way that this works is when you have a square root, when you have a square root, really what you're looking at is, hey, uh, what number multiplied by itself gives me that number? Okay, so we can honestly split this up between the number and variable. We could split it up. We can. We can really look at this as the square root of 64 times the square root of k cubed. If you look at it this way, it might be really easy to tell that square root of 64 is 8, or the principal square root is 8. You know, you might be thinking of the positive and negative version, but right now we're just doing the principal square root, which is just the positive version. So, what about the k cubed? You know, because coach, I knew 64 goes down to 8. I knew that. But what do I do with the k cubed? Well, remember, what the square root does is it pretty much undoes a perfect square. So if you have 3 squared, that's 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So you see that they're inverse operations. They're inverse operations. They're opposites of each other. So when I take a look at k cubed, there's something really peculiar that I've noticed. One thing that I noticed is this, k cubed, there's no number that I can multiply by itself to get k cubed. However, I can take a look at k cubed like this. I can take a look at it like the square root of k squared times k. How does that make any sense at all? Well, think of it like this. k cubed, isn't it the same thing as k squared times k? Because when you multiply two of the same variables, you add their exponents. So two plus that imaginary one that's there, that goes back to three, yeah. So I'm, a, I'm perfectly allowed to say that. I'm perfectly allowed to say that. And now think of it like this. When you ask yourself what number times itself gives you k squared, well, that's just gonna be k. Because k multiplied by k gives you k squared. And so, awesome, this can actually go ahead and reduce to just k. And so we have ourselves our eight multiplied by k multiplied by that square root of k. And that's gonna be our answer. Our answer is going to be 8k square root k. And that is going to be answer choice D. But before you go, remember, it's not just about memorizing how to do one problem. If you're watching this on the day that this video came out, I'm hosting a class tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time, and we're gonna be doing this for two whole hours, understanding how to actually work any type of problem in this topic out. And so I want you to go ahead and succeed. Like that's my goal for everybody when it comes to taking the ASVAB. So go ahead and register for my free class. There's the link right there at the bottom left. The link is also in the description of this video. And stop procrastinating. All you have to do is go ahead, make that sacrifice, show up on a Monday night, and I promise you, I won't waste your time. Everything that you have in terms of your issues and challenges and struggles, I wanna make sure I can alleviate it with you and show you the right way to study and really just get rid of all that anxiety. So with that said, if you want to join me and you want to have fun, go ahead, go to that link or shoot me a text. Again, my number is 567 right over here. 
Five six seven six nine eight 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 six seven. Let me know how you're doing with the ASVAB so far, and let me know that you came from YouTube. That way, I understand exactly how to help you and your needs. Don't forget to like this video, comment your favorite part, and subscribe to the channel for more. That way, you can keep supporting the channel. But with that said, Coach Anderson is out, and I'll see you soon, hopefully in class. Cheers.